In this video, I will show you, according to Scripture, that the pre-tribulation rapture simply is impossible. So we've got a spot here where we're going to make our notes, but in essence, what we're going to be talking about are two groups, the dead and we which are alive and remain. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, we're going to start reading in verse 14, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. It's talking about the dead. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. This is saying we shall not precede the dead. The Greek word used for prevent is thano, which means proceed. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now according to the Bible, as we come back over to our list, we've got the two groups, the dead and we which are alive and remain. And clearly the Bible tells us that the dead go first, and we which are alive and remain go after. Now as we come back to Revelation, we're in chapter 20. Read with me, starting in verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Note, the first resurrection, these people, they are specifically described as people who had first-hand dealings with the Antichrist. They had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received the mark in their foreheads. Now we can come back over to our list, and when we're looking at group number one, the dead, who do go first and precede us, we can add this description to that group according to Revelation 20, verse 5. They are the first resurrection. So I conclude with this question and ask you to think biblically. Knowing that Revelation chapter 20, verse 5 includes group one, who were killed by the Antichrist in the tribulation, and knowing that group one goes first and group two goes after, how then is it possible that you believe the rapture is pre-tribulation?